to the opening of China, which is something that is uh, incredible because that's a whole big untapped market of 1.5 billion people. And so I was actually doing the finals, but I got to see enough of it. And certainly I spoke to my people. It's a witch hunt. It's a sham. It's a hoax. Uh, nothing was done wrong. Zero was done wrong. I think it's a horrible thing to be using the tool of impeachment which is supposed to be used in an emergency, and it would seem many, many, many years apart, to be using this for a perfect phone call where the president of that country said there was no pressure whatsoever, didn't even know what we were talking about. Uh, it was perfect. The relationship is perfect. Uh, I've done much more for them than Obama did for them. It's a scam. It's something that shouldn't be allowed, and it's a very bad thing for our country, and you're trivializing impeachment. And I tell you what, someday there'll be a Democrat president and there'll be a Republican House, and I suspect they're going to remember it. Because when you do, when you use impeachment for absolutely nothing other than to try and get political gain. Now, with that being said, my poll numbers, as you know, have gone through the roof. Fundraising for the Republican Party has gone through the roof. We're setting records. We've never, nobody's ever seen anything like it because the people are disgusted. The people are absolutely disgusted. Nobody's ever seen anything like this. And I watched yesterday, I got to see quite a bit of it yesterday, and I watched these Democrats on the committee make fools out of themselves, absolute fools out of themselves. And I also saw them quoting all the time incorrectly. They kept saying, me. It wasn't about me, it was about us. The word was us. So they would kept saying, me. It said us. Can you do us a favor? Our country, comma, our country. Then it talked about seeing the Attorney General of the United States. For these people to say, me, they would say, me. You said, do me a favor. No, it didn't say that. It said, do us a favor, our country. Talking about the past election, talking about corruption. The other thing nobody mem remembers and nobody likes to talk about, and I talk about it all the time, is why isn't Germany, why isn't France, why aren't other European countries paying? Because we're paying, the suckers. You know, for years we've been the suckers. But we're not the suckers anymore. Big difference. But why isn't Germany paying big money? They're the ones, I mean, they have a much bigger benefit than we do because Ukraine is really a stoppage between Russia and parts of Europe, the major part of Europe. Why aren't European countries paying? Why isn't France paying a lot of money? Why is it always the United States? We're 7,000 miles away. Why is it always the suckers that pay? So we've changed that, but nobody brings that up. Uh, I think that the whole impeachment thing Hoax, I guess you could call it, because it, it is a hoax. And Nancy Pelosi knows it. By the way, they duped her yesterday. She was on an interview, and she said, we've been working on this for two and a half years. So she's, she was working on it, in other words, two years before we ever spoke to Ukraine. She said, we've been working on impeachment for two and a half years. And the reporter was shocked when they got this answer, because it showed she's a liar. So it's, uh, it's a very sad thing for our country, but uh, it seems to be very good for me politically. And again, those people, because I watch some of the uh, dishonest fake media, uh, they're saying, well, the polls have remained the same. No, the polls have not remained the same. I think you understand that, John. The polls have gone through the roof for Trump because people, especially with independent voters, and especially in swing states, I could show you numbers that nobody has ever seen numbers like this before. So the impeachment is a hoax, it's a sham. It started a long time ago, probably before I came down the escalator with the future first lady. It started a long time ago. And when you look at the IG report, and you look at these horrible FBI people talking about, we got to get them out, uh, insurance policies. You know, the insurance policies, just in case she loses, meaning crooked Hillary who's crooked as a $3 bill. Just in case crooked Hillary loses, we've got an insurance policy. Well, we've been going through the insurance policy now for three years, and it's a disgrace. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Say it.
I think they'll hit $50 billion in agriculture. No, much more than 50 because it's also manufacturing and other. But I think in agriculture, they will hit $50 billion. Next yes. year or when? What's Pretty soon. They've already stepped it up. Uh, my deal with them was two months ago. We had it in pretty good form. I said, do me a favor, start buying agriculture. And they started. If you look, I mean, they're already buying. Even before the deal is signed, they're buying. Do you prefer to come up Venezuela, Mr. President? Well, we're with the people of Venezuela 100%. It's so important to us, and we're going to be discussing Venezuela today. It'll be a big subject. Mr. President, Mr. President, do you prefer a, a short process in the Senate or a more extended process? Well, I've heard Lindsey Graham, who's terrific, and I heard his uh, statement, and I like that. And I could also, I could do, I'll do whatever I want. Look, there is, we did nothing wrong. So I'll do long or short. I've heard Mitch, I've heard Lindsey, I think they are very much on agreement on some concept. I'll do whatever they want to do, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't mind the long process, because I'd like to see the whistleblower, who's a fraud, the whistleblower wrote a false report. And I really blew it up when I released the transcript of the call. And then Schiff gets up, and he, and I blew him up too, because he went up in front of Congress, and he made a statement about what I said that was totally false. And then a long time after he made it, when he got caught, he said, oh, uh, that was uh, parody, parody. Now, Schiff is a crooked, he's a corrupt politician, and a disgrace. And because of the fact he's in Congress, he's got immunity, so he can't do anything. But he went up there, you know that, he made a totally false statement. The whistleblower wrote a totally false statement. So it's a fraud. Then I say, where is the informer, the one that informed the whistleblower? You had an informer, he disappeared. You know why he disappeared? Because I released the transcript. Had I not released that transcript, we would have had an informer, we would have had another whistleblower. By the way, where's the second whistleblower? Remember that? We have a second whistleblower. We have breaking news. Look, not all of it, but much of the media is corrupt. These are bad people, they're sick people, and they're corrupt. And we're fighting the Democrats, and we're fighting a lot of the corrupt media. But I asked the corrupt media, where's the second whistleblower? Now, had I not had a transcript, I'm lucky we had this transcript, which, by the way, has now been verified by the lieutenant colonel. The lieutenant colonel, okay? He's another beauty. So where is, where is all of the stuff that was going to happen? Once I released it, and I released it quick, but quickly. But once I released it, all of a sudden, the second whistleblower disappeared. The first whistleblower, who is all set to testify, he all of a sudden, he becomes this saint-like figure that they don't need him anymore. The one that everybody wanted to see, including Schiff, was the whistleblower. Once I released the text of what happened, the transcript, that was the end. Everybody disappeared. So now there's no informer. There's no second whistleblower. Everybody's gone. And by the way, a guy like Sundland, nobody ever says it. He said very strongly that I said, I want nothing and no quid pro quo. Nobody says that. That's what he said. He said it in Congress. Nobody ever says that. So look, we're dealing with a lot of corrupt people. There was nothing done wrong. To use the power of impeachment on this nonsense is an embarrassment to this country. The president just said it. It's an embarrassment to our country. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you.